Thank you, Thomas. Uh, I want to thank uh, people at Bugsby for letting me have the time to talk about the design process that, that we use using Bugsby at uh, Design Design America. This is going to be a little bit of a divergence from what you normally see here is you normally see our marketing materials that are kind of like the end of the process. What I wanted to do is give you guys a little bit of an insight on how we go about actually getting there but using this tool in a real world situation. So here we go. So I'm going to review the Nissan uh, Forum minivan show car that we revealed at uh, last year's the Detroit Auto Show and how we use bump speed in that process. Okay. Uh, this is Nissan Design America it's, uh, in La Jolla, California. Uh, uh, automotive design studio. It's a pretty great place to work. Um, but usually the public can't get in here and see how we do this. So this is going to be kind of unique for you people so uh, you can actually see kind of behind the scenes just a little bit. Okay. So how do we get from these thumbnail sketches of cars that the designers do to the uh, the final product, which in this case is a show car, ready for an auto show and for marketing materials and maybe pre-production. Okay. First thing is, of course, is designers have to come up with the ideas and they sketch and they come up with the, a lot of times very rough sketches and they sketch some more different views and they come up with some ideas. Then they refine those ideas into these different. Uh, different sketches and kind of get some uh, emotion going okay until you know they get pretty close and then finally you know they come to a, a sketch selection which is a, a go with two uh, and then we'll make a couple of uh, models from there one thing I just want to point out just for later on is just take note of these three stripes because that was the, the designer's style that they were working in, and I was asking them specifically, is like, uh, can you just match the way the sketch looked a little bit? And so I said, okay, you know, since I have a whole afternoon to do this, I guess I'll try. So from the uh, from the sketch selection, a couple of digital models will be made, but they're generally really pretty quick, only, only a couple days. And then, for me, the visualization process starts. And of course, I'll take that information and I'll import it into, uh, into Bug Speed. And I'll come up with uh, you know, some quick feedback images. And so I want to point out again, the reflection map in here was specifically to match the reflection that was done on the sketches. And I was able to do that just really easily by a reflection environment in, in Bug Speed. And it could be could have been anything, but in this case the request was for kind of make it look like a sketch. So it's a little bit of versatility in that uh, in the program. So I'm going to go through these, and they're not particularly good. I mean, they're just kind of really really basic and sketchy. But the designer, what the designers wanted to do is they wanted to have a bunch of different views that they could sketch on. And just get a feeling for you know what their design was. So, so that was the, the first proposal, and this is the second proposal. So I'm just gonna flip through these and not no particular meaning to them really, other than there's just kind of a lot of them. And the winner was proposal B. That's a very important part of the process, is to take a whole board full of sketches narrow it down to maybe two or three, have basically a competition, and come up with a winner. In this case, for um, a show car, you really only need one, so it's, you're not really continuing on with more than one proposal. So we, you have a winner now. And so the point of this thing was, I was able to create 30 plus, probably closer to 50 images on two proposals in, in an afternoon. And, and feed those back to designers. Well, in the old days, I mean, you're lucky to get three, let alone 30. That's 30, that's a, that's a lot. Okay, so we have the digital data, and we know what we want to do. It goes to clay, and we cut some models. And that's an integral part of this process. And these are worked on by hand and refined. And this little picture inside the studio. Yes, that is a volleyball court back there. 
So well, the point that we really need to do is that we don't mess around with these very long. So we need a quick, most importantly, an accurate visualization for design feedback. And that's what my job is. It's a pretty cool job. But the job isn't marketing. The job is design feedback. Sketch, make a model, make a picture, give it back. And so Funk Speed is really allowed to do that because I can do it quickly and I can still go home and So interior is the same way. Um, we uh, have a, a nice interior sketch or two and it generally don't get much better than that if, if you get that. And I'll get, get some data from the digital model and I'll make a very basic uh, rendering in bunk speed. And it's not particularly good. It's not a not it's really not portfolio quality or anything. But I want to show you what happens to these kinds of things that are generated in hours, you know, maybe an afternoon. So you get a couple of views of that. We'll go right into a full model. So I'm just going to go back in just a second. I didn't plan the views. I didn't. I didn't have the foresight to know what they're going to do two weeks later or a week later. You can see, you know, the foam is done cutting. I make this. We spit out that. Pretty darn close. So we're more or less foretelling, you know, what's going to be happening down the road. So you can really see it. This is a, at this point, I don't have a whole model by any means. I have got little bits and pieces, and I'm sticking them together, working with the color designers, and we're putting on colors and textures. You know, we're not uh, spending a whole lot of time on the rendering process. We're just communicating, and then we cut a foam door. Okay, for verification, very important part. Again, yeah, I'm going to just go run through a couple other views here. Just another view. Boom. You know, they're just trying to nail down some details. Again, with some of the pieces and parts, get, get a wire file, okay, make a seat, post the color and materials, they pick the leather, they match it up, and, and uh, they you know, the process. Another thing that happens a lot is uh, trying to measure for gaps and things to communicate to the person who's going to build it, you know, what do we do, you know, with the image and the data that we have? Do we need to adjust it a little bit? You know, this is, again, not stellar imagery, but uh, very communicative. So in the meantime, while we're working on some other bits and pieces, the clay modeling team has gone ahead and they're working on the full size. And it takes, you know, a little while, a couple weeks. So when they get it ready, they want to have detailed parts. There it again, using bunk speed, coming in, rendering, rendering out the detailed images to scale. Print them out, put them on the model. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool. And if you plan it right, you can actually render it in that environment, and you get the real reflections. So the parts, uh, they real life. They actually look pretty good, even though they're just paper mockups. Quick, fast, pretty efficient. So at some point in time, all the parts start coming together, and you have a, a compiled digital model. And this is where a lot of people start, but in our process. You know, it's kind of going along, we're getting bits and pieces, and it's all kind of gelling together. But it's nice when you get to that point, because um, then you kind of see the end of, end of the tunnel here. And you get into an executive design review. And this is kind of our a formal presentation to executives. And uh, this, is what, you know, this is what we actually used, basically these three images. You know, things are kind of starting to look better. Again, probably not your best portfolio stuff, but you know, it's pretty quick, and again, we're using bunk speed. We're not switching back and forth to a lot of different packages, and uh, you know, we're able to verify from there. So we know what we're going to do. We know the car has been approved. So how do you communicate to the people, the metal crafters, the other people who are making um, making the object? Okay. Again, you kind of up the level one more time. Get a, a few more days to work on it. Do very similar uh, renderings that you did before, but now the texturing is a little bit more refined. It's a little bit more descriptive of exactly what you're going to do. So this is the real part. So it's pretty cool, I think, that you can go from here, and a couple of months later, they pop that out. It's like, wow, that's, that's pretty much just like what we were talking about a couple months ago. Of course, by that time, you're off working on something else. But uh, I find it very interesting that it's not really planned. We hand these images over, and in the uh, 